Hey everybody, welcome back! Episode 4 of Holy Potatoes, A Weapon Shop! Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Again, that's the most important thing, and if you are, keep leaving me those likes, keep leaving those thumbs up. The support always does mean a lot, and it lets me know you want to see it more often on the channel as well. Anyway, what do we have going on here for today? This is a real question, and um, it's really easy to answer, because our objective now is to get a hero up to level 20. Uh, while we were away, we finished up the Heavy Axe research, so that's done with. We did a few more explorations with homeboy Reset Peters, and I think he got me actually another handle to make the level 3 dagger as well. But I want to make a little bit of money right now, so we can get some more tickets, so we can unlock the next land over. So for now, I'm thinking get a hero to level 20 is going to be our main objective. So we're going to probably start doing that by making the third heavy axe here, which requires sapphires. Thankfully, we've been doing our explorations, and we have quite a few of those. We have a lot of iron as well. Um, attack power and accuracy for sure. Fencers, I guess we'll probably go with the fencer. He needs to get up to level 20. You're already maxed out, so we're done with you. I'm thinking the dude that we should focus on is Yappy the Jabber. So let's go ahead and start that over here. And we need power. So you come over here. We'll go with power and accuracy. I think that's really ideal. We'll, we'll do the attack boost here. And because we want to get up to level 20, I'm thinking we probably spend a little bit of money here to get a Freelancer. Because Laura Craft's only at 47. It's taking her a while to level up here. Maybe down the line there's going to be another sort of unlock that lets her learn this a bit more faster. But for now, I'm thinking we go with... Uh, let's give old Ronald... Uh, excuse me. Donald Macarunold a try here at 784. Start boosting. Attack and speed, huh? That's okay. That's okay. Give me at least 5 or 6, though. Only 4. That's not okay. But we got 55 boost, that's fine, we'll take it for now. Alright, so as soon as it's done, we will go and sell this off here, because we definitely want some more money, because we're kind of bleeding a bit of money right now. So this is going to be our level 3rd axe, if I'm right. Um, let's see, what do we name this bad boy now? Hmm, we've had the Bearded Terror, we've had Gimli Axe, we've had a lot of few things here. Let's go with the, um... It's going to be the Smash Him, because it's a really terrifying looking axe here, the Smash Him. Alrighty. Primary stat, all good. Let's go ahead and, if we can, uh, should we go sell this off now or we just make a uh, next weapon as well? You know what, let's make a third weapon, or a second weapon to sell here really quickly. We haven't done the longbow one just yet. So I guess we should probably focus on getting maybe an archer and Jappy the Jabber maxed out. Because we sold over to Archie Huntsman before, he's already at level 13. Although we only have to get one hero to level 20, right? Uh, yeah, you know what, let's just go ahead and sell it now. Because I'll only get one person level 20 so we can unlock the next, maybe the next objective is going to unlock new things for us. Like, for instance, this here. This has to be a way to train our people, I would imagine, maybe, right? There's also the vacation feature, which we haven't unlocked. So yeah, let's go ahead and just sell this axe now. Over in the murky Miso Marshes. The smash him. We will be selling this with, obviously, Bog Bogan. He's our main merchant. And hopefully... Jappy, you're the guy that I'm over here aiming for. So you go on that one. Meanwhile, we'll have an exploration over here with old Lara Craft. Maybe get her up to level 4 if we can. There you go. Ah, choice of fate. A skinny little spud is getting picked on by a group of bullies. I'm going to go ahead and shave, save him. Not <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and shave him. I'm going to shave the old spud and then have myself some french fries. Uh, no, no, I want to save him. But apparently I failed in the rescue. That's unfortunate. Laura Craft's going to be losing speed for a day. That's okay. We're not really using her to make anything right now. We have a few buyers, and we have Jappy the Jabber. He's going to level up how many times from this? Four. Level 16? Good. So you are going to be the dude that we're selling to. There you go. Laura Craft should be back pretty soon. Bog Bogan is done here. Excellent. So more than likely, one more act should be able to get this guy to level 20. And we'll do a boost with maybe the next guy after Ronald. So he's almost at level 17, as a matter of fact. Good. So, Bulk, you come back over here. Come back over here, Bulk. Oh, we got another ticket as well. We're up to three. Five unlocks the next region, if I'm right. Now, Laura, she got us a Dusty Arrowhead, some more Axe Heads, and more Nuts over here, and a few more items. Good. And you come back to your station over here. So, I'm thinking we go ahead and forge... Maybe... Remember, we could actually... Can we unlock this one, too? I get the feeling we can. Let me see this really quickly. Yeah, yeah, we definitely can because we have this extra one here. Ooh. You know what? Let's do it. Research that shit. Go research it right now. And meanwhile you do that, we will send old Reset Peters over to do some exploration. Meanwhile, we've actually discovered every single item here, by the way. That's pretty cool. So you explore here meanwhile. The reason why I want to open this one up now is because it'll probably have a bigger boost. So this will guarantee that we get the next hero to level 20. 
Reset Peters is back and he found us some more rubies and ooh, Warrior's Mark and another Weathered Knife. That's really good. Now I'm going to send you out for one more time before what's her face should be done by then. And this will get you up to level 3 more than likely too. Alright, so good luck to you. I'm um, Doggy. Oh, there you go, I fed him. He looked really um bad for wear there for a second. <laughs> I guess you do have to feed him. Uh, you see a pale sparkly potato sp uh, stud standing under a tree. Let's go ahead and drag him into the sun. Failed. Ah, screw you and your fails. How about that? Alrighty. Reset Peters. Got us a few items here. Dirty handle. Alrighty. Good. You come back to your station here and... Laura Craft should be done with that. Oh, we have an area event. Catch them all. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my... What can I say? I just really like Pokemon growing up too, alright? Anyway, where did you hear this song again? It's inspiring. Yeah, you're telling me. That song was the shit, man. Believe me, I got through school and college because of that Pokemon theme song. That was my 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 will to survive and continue going forward. I'll tell you that much. It's really not true, but... Anyway. Three days. Starch and hero experience at New Village is going to be, you know, a multiple of 1.1. So not exactly the greatest multiple out there, but it's going to be a bit better than it normally would. So yes, we should try to sell a weapon there definitely so the soldier's axe is done excellent you come back over here now then let's take a look at the world map here really quickly because uh sell weapons here what heroes do we have available here unfortunately for us well we would have to make a bow in time to get that boost i don't see that happening because i don't really have a bow for sale or i can make a bow now definitely but I wanted to focus on just maxing out that guy. So you know what? That uh, area event, we're not going to take advantage of it. It's, not, it's just not feasible. It's not. It's kind of pointless to do it right now. So we already have the Fort Axe, which is going to be used for this guy to max out. So yes, let's start on that one. Luckily, we have all the items for it. Right? No. Yeah, we do. Okay, good. Attack power and accuracy. So before we even start over there, attack power and accuracy... Bulk, you come over here. Rusted Peters, you hang out over there. We will forge that axe now. That ass now. And we want to focus on attack power. And you know what? Since I'm pretty sure just because it's a level 4 weapon is going to do enough on its own. Let's have Laura Craft, you know, level up her crafting here a little bit more if we can. I hope it's going to work out anyway. 4 and 1. 4 and 2. I hope so. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have used somebody else to guarantee it. Oh, we only got 4 as well. That's actually bad. That's my bad. I should have probably gone with somebody else, a freelancer, but oh well. I was trying to give her a, a chance, you know? Speaking of a chance, we have a choice. A potato parrot sits on the window sit sill and calls noisily. Uh, Polly want a cracker? She does. We got 1,500 starch for that event. That's really good. <laughs> I'm not complaining about that whatsoever. A rather blocky looking chicken is standing by the road. Nope, don't do it, chicky. And we... Oh, no! We lost attack power from our current... No! No, that's really bad. We lost attack power from our current project, which actually, you know, focuses on attack power. How about we call this the uh, fuck RNG? Because that's exactly what just happened there. Thanks a lot, RNG. Uh, okay. So, oh, come on, stop it. I want to go sell this weapon already. Switch it on, yeah, whatever. Bonus speed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go and sell this weapon. It's probably not going to be the greatest weapon to sell, unfortunately for us. Uh, fuck RNG. Let's go with Bulk Bogan, maybe get him to level 4. And obviously want to go with here. With this guy. So, you go do that. Meanwhile, we'll do an exploration really quickly with Laura Craft. Get her up to level 4. Oh, he's almost at level 3 himself. Good, good. Good people exploring there. We have a buyer. It's gonna only get him up to level 4. Ah, that's uh, 4 levels, which is gonna get him up to 20. And that's all we need to do. Remember, he maxes out at 25, so all we need is 20. Perfect. Just enough, right? So you get that. And here it is, Dunsky. That should be our next objective. Good. I'm happy about that. Did Boke Bogan level up? He was kind of close to getting to level 4 himself. Level A, a real lifesaver. And Boke, you come back over here. Objective is done now. Oh, Boke's sad. Or mad, one or the other. Um, Boke Bogan, are you okay? You don't look so good. Oh, come on. Say something. I want to do the voice. Oh, you look stressed. Bulks, do say something. I want to, you know, do the voice. Ah, how about a song? Guns N' Roses, Paradise City, or Justin Bieber, Baby? Uh, I think Bulk Bogan might just be a little bit more of a Guns N' Roses guy. 
Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the spuds are pretty. Your turn. Oh, he's just crying now. Maybe it's time to take a break. So I think we unlocked vacations. Yeah, we did. Alrighty, you have been invited to this year's Golden Hammer Awards to be held on month 4, day 15. That's going to be in exactly a month from now, apparently. The awards that will be presented this year are the Fastest Weapon Award, the Most Accurate Weapon Award, and the Overall Best Weapon Award. All non-legendary weapons completed after the Golden Hammer Awards last year will be eligible to compete. Ooh, so non-legendary weapons. Good, good, good. Okay. You know what, let's slow it down here a little bit then. So I'm guessing we should try to make our best weapons right now for this um, award show coming up. Yeah, okay. So, number one, Laura Craft is done. She brought back a few items here for us, nothing too crazy. You come back over here. Boke, you come back over here. And let's see about researching something else. So in terms of daggers, we could actually unlock the third level one. For the bows, we have unlocked everything available to us now. And same with the axes too. Yeah. Alrighty, so I'm thinking we just unlock the third level dagger, and then we will focus on making some really good weapons. So, Bulk, you go ahead and research that. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and do some exploration here if we can. Um. Oh, you guys are almost about to level up each, huh? Laura Craft, maybe you'll get it to level 4 finally. So, have added. Snake. Choice of Fate. A buff manly spud is attempting to chop down a small sapling with little success. He wears the skulls. Um, let's help him out. Uh, accuracy debuff for a day. That's okay, we're not making any weapons right now, so I will take it. Let's speed it up here, meanwhile. Just so we finish this up a bit faster here. This is a waiting game now. Eh, nothing really great. And she leveled up to four. Perfect. So you come over here. Now, Reset Peters, I need you as well to come over here and maybe get up to level three as well. So start exploring that. Meanwhile, Bok Boken should be back with the third dagger, and then we'll start making some amazing weapons here if we can. Oh, nice! We got a level 4 ornament as well. Perfect. Or relic, anyway. Alrighty. Ooh, late... Ooh, someone left a TV set at the door. There's a remote by its side. Switch it on! A lady with long black hair crawls out of the TV and scares all your smiths out of the workshop. Oh, no! I know what that is. That is scary. Some grudge or Ringu shit right there, man. Um, it's Ringu, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's the ring. Uh, oh, the brand new Cyclops Drift. The latest craze in gaming technology. Let's try it out. We failed. Laura Craft's gonna be losing attack for a day. Not good, but we're not making weapons just yet, so that's not the end of the world, so to say. Bulk, you're almost done here? Alrighty, we got the main gouch. Excelente, you come over here. Alright, it's time for us to start. We don't have those negative debuffs still, do we? Let's see. Idle. No, 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 she's she's fine. I, I see no negative debuff, right? right? You guys see anything? I don't see anything. I think it's gone now. It'll last for a day. We were actually going in fast speed, so that probably has something to do with it. So, let's go ahead and, well, we could actually research the last weapon, meanwhile. We could open up a level 4 bow, or a level... No, we have that one already. So we could do the bow now, and then the dagger maybe later? Hmm. Uh-oh, Boke Bogan is, um... Stress myths suffer a moderate penalty to their job performance. Send them on vacation. Oh, okay, hey, hey. Let's do a vacation! Alrighty, so, um, how do we send them to a vacation and where? So, time taken, one day, three hours. Potatoes aim and fire. Price for 120, rating 5 of 5. Interesting. 22 hours. 460. So, we'll get them faster with the murky miso, right? Yeah. So, bulk, you need to go... Oh. Available in other seasons. Oh. So, in spring, summer, and winter have different ones. So, right now, for the... Autumn package, we have Gaze Upon the Little Diptato and other constellations while lying on ethically farm marshmallows. Bulk, you're going on a vacation, my friend. Yeah, you are. Get on out of here. Time for a break indeed. Oh, that was our next object. I didn't even notice that. Reach 900 fame. Oh, we're almost there, too. Oh, a lot of decorations. You can now buy this for your shop. Ooh, I can decorate my shop now. I like that. Oh, good God. Stop it already with the unlocks here. It's tripping me out. Uh, yeah, accuracy down. Let's go and take a look-see here, then, if we can. We want to shop for items. Let's go over here. Mm, I see none here. Unless it's elsewhere. Back to the map? Where do I buy these decorations? Would I not buy them here? Oh, yeah, that's right. You can buy stuff there. Um, I would like to expand our business here, but don't we need, like, five? Five to unlock. Yeah, we only have three, so we have to wait up on that one. Where do you buy these um, weapon or these items at? These decoration ones. Back to the workshop here really quickly. Is it somewhere around here? Feed the dog here really quickly. 
Shop famous at 722. We're almost at 900. Shop upgrade. Oh, decorations. There we go. Contracts. Black pod. What is this? I haven't even messed around with this stuff so far. I've been so obsessed with the objectives. I haven't really taken time to look around these other options down here. So contracts. Black pod. My cauldron cannot handle the heat of evil magic. I need a stronger one. Wicked witch. So this is going to be two days, and um, 1300 is our reward. Accuracy. So we have to make a black pod? No, that's his name of the thing. So what do we have to make for this one? Well, we can't do it now because Bulk Bogan's away. Let's wait till he's back and we'll take a look at that one here. So he's now elated. Perfect. So pump for work, brother! Alright, so he's happy now. And, you know, these guys are probably, you know, neutral smiths, no boost. I could send them out for some vacations as well. Maybe we should boost them up with vacations just so that we can start making those amazing weapons for the competition coming up. That's not a bad idea, you know what? Let's do that really quickly over here. Now, we'll spend 460 more to get everybody elated. I think that's actually pretty ideal. So you know what, Rusted Peters, you come over here and take a vacation as well. Meanwhile, though, we'll have Laura Craft do some exploration before we send her on a vacation as well. Alright, so you start exploring. There you go. We'll hold off here for a little bit. Let's speed it up meanwhile. So I think this is actually a pretty good idea. Before we get into the competition crafting here, let's get everybody completely buffed up. Alright, so you come back over here. This guy's vacation should be done now. Yeah, there you go. Get you over here with said Peters and world map one more time and we'll send Laura Craft over to here. Yeah. Go on vacation. There you go. And meanwhile, should we send him out to explore? Yeah, let's take advantage of it meanwhile. Do you explore here, Reset Peters? Don't lose your mood, by the way. Just hang out here for a second because we should be... Payday's arriving soon, 11.96. Yeah, we have money for that. Not a big deal. Reach 900 fame. And let's see, we're in day 22. Remember, we have to get up to... We have to have a good weapon by next month, the 15th. So he got... Ooh, he got us the Warrior's Mark. And the old ornament. We can make the level 4 dagger as well now. Excellent. You come over here, and then she's back from her vacation. Alrighty, everybody should be maxed out now. So, what this means is we can actually craft a weapon, take advantage of everybody's um, good moods. And we have no negative debuffs going on, so let's do this here really quickly. We have the axe. We already made the soldier's axe, right? I'm thinking we probably research one of the bows and the dagger, and we make that for the competition, perhaps. So we would have to do one more research after all. So that's my bad. I jumped the, the gun here a little bit. So, yeah, let's make this bow, I want to say. So, we'll research that, that one. Meanwhile, we will have explorations happening over here with Laura Craft. And we will hold off for what's coming up next. You are going to be fed here, just in case I forget down the line. Laura Craft is back. Good items. Ooh, another level 4 one, too. Come back over here. Good mood still? You guys better still be in good moods. I can send you out for more exploration, but I don't want to wear it out, so let's just wait till he's back here. Silver Bow. That's the one we're making for the competition, more than likely. Alrighty. Uh, obviously, you could probably make more than one weapon for the competition, but um, what didn't they ask for a particular ones? So, like, the fastest, the uh, strongest? Hmm. The accurate? I don't know. Well, we're going to do the... If, th if they want a fastest one, I guess a dagger would be the ideal one for that, huh? Well, let's make the bow first. So, Silver Bow is the one we're going to be jumping to instantly right now. So, is my question here is, do I need to sell the weapon, or do I have to hold on to it? I wonder. I wonder. Is there a way for me to look this up here momentarily? Let's uh, slow down time here a little bit. Uh, I guess we, we'll check out the shop upgrades. Oh, we want to do the contracts as well. Hmm. Well, one thing at a time here. Oh, so this would just be like instant money to actually decorate now. Well, you know what? We don't really have all the money in the world to actually be doing this, but... Once we do have all the money in the world, I'm not... Opposed to this, but you know what? We could do... Ooh, Smit Attack actually gets some boost by this one. 900, huh? Accuracy. Magic. Uh, let's do... Yeah, sure, let's do the Potted Plant. It's only 900. Alrighty, equipped. Where? <laughs> you guys see it? Where's it at? I'm not sure if I see it. Anyway. Um, Forge. Is it no, no, the Contract. Contract Valve. Try one of these contracts here really quickly. Two days, um... Accurate weapon. So let's do the black pod first, just so we know what we're doing here. Oh, so you don't even make anything, you just let them do their own thing. But we're looking for speed, right? So you need to come down here. Can we meet that in time, I wonder? I mean, it's said easy, so I, I'd imagine we probably should. 
Ah, someone left a TV? Um, let's leave it alone. Last time that uh, Ringu girl came out and scared the bejesus out of us, apparently. We should be able to meet that, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I hope so. While on a destroy, you come across a pond in the middle of a field. Paddle your feet! Attack power up for a day. I'm not sure if we can actually meet this one now that I think about it. It's gonna be close. Oh, no! That was supposed to be an easy one, though. Ah. Well, I gave it a shot. That's unfortunate. So, let's make that bow. Accuracy and attack power. Yeah, let's make the bow. We have all the items required for it. Um, accuracy, so what I should do here really quickly is you, my friend, are level 5, right? And you are level 12 in accuracy. You come down here with Reset Peters. And attack power, you come... Actually, no, no, no. We should have her in the attack station. I think, yeah. Oh, event. Starch is going to be going down, but hero experience up at New Village. And you come down here. That's how I'm going to work this out. Let's forge this out here really quickly, go to the bow, and we will do the silver bow, and let's start this up now. Obviously, accuracy is going to be our main concern here. Happy Smiths gain a moderate boost to their job performance. He's at 58 right now. Uh, but since we want to make this one really amazing for the competition coming up, I'm thinking... How much money? We're at 2600, huh? I would like to use the, um, Stevie Flounder, but that's a little bit too much, I would say. Let's go with Spudlot Holmes again. Accuracy only. Perfect. Good. We want to make this as accurate as possible, so yes, would you focus on... Give me a five! Give me a fiver! Give me a fiver! No fiver, only a four! That's fine. I guess that's what I have to do. So let's finish this up here really quickly. We have our boost count. Earthquake! Oh no, there's been an earthquake! The weapons you are forging has been damaged! No! We lost a lot of accuracy on this! Oh, come on! Fuck RNG all the time! Show us a fate. Customers have been clamoring for more perks, so you're trying to decide if you should indulge them. After all, the customer is always right. Uh, give a customer a 50% off every second weapon purchase. Uh, we'll go that one. Accuracy boosted by Boke Bogan. Luckily, he is working on accuracy right now, so that's gonna help me out a bit. But that Urko given is actually terrible. That brought me down quite a bit. Uh, sure, Silver Bill sounds about fine for now. I'm not too happy about it, so I'm not gonna name it anything good, because that RNG event ruined it all. Alright, so... Presumably, we have a weapon, a bow one, for the competition. I guess we'll try to make a dagger next, but we need to unlock the level 4 one. We'll do that next time around, though. Hopefully you enjoyed it with a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.